Dimelang Pichumizaga. My name is Kamuhelo Masudubele, also known as Kamu Pachani on my social media platforms. And this is my husband. Mutusi Masudubele, as you know, Masuks. Uh, today we decided to explain to you, uh, our fellow followers, uh, regarding this issue uh, myself and my ex wife, uh, which is Koketo Malope. And we just felt as a family, we needed to just give you a background of the story. At least so that uh, this thing should not necessarily be one-sided. We know and we are aware there's a lot of criticism around this issue, but uh, at least uh, give us an opportunity, Lerona, to actually give you a brief. Yes, we might be wrong, we might be right, uh, but at the end of the day, this is what we have to say to you. Okay. Okay, so uh, Mutusi and Kogeto got married in 2007 and later separated in 2016. Mutusi then had a relationship with another lady whom I would like not to mention and they had a beautiful baby girl. We met and started dating on the 25th of December 2018 and he was already separated with the ex-wife. I then met the kids in 2019 and their divorce settlement was finalized in 2020. We spent the 2020 COVID lockdown holidays with all our kids for six months in our home and the mom was fully aware. That's when I started including the kids on my social media platform with my husband who's their father's permission. We then continued our relationship with the kids visiting every other weekend and all school holidays as stated in their parental plan when the mom was the primary caregiver at the time up until December 2023. In January 2024, which is this year, my husband was in the process of returning the kids back to their mother and the mother responded by saying that she had work commitments and potential job offer in another province of which she might have to relocate with the kids or the father can keep the kids. This has a WhatsApp message evidence, but that's with the court. Where we then went to Temba Magistrate Court to report this matter and was advised to apply for temporary safe care order, which was granted pending further investigations by the social workers. During the social worker investigations, my husband, myself, and our nanny, as well as the kids were all interviewed. Koketo was requested several times to come to interviews, which she postponed and never complied to. Koketo was then subpoenaed several times to attend, however, did not attend the court date, which resulted to the magistrate making the placement order final. Koketo then afterwards applied for access to the kids and then later on withdrew. A few weeks later, she made a video blaming me for not having access to the kids while she is the one that went to the court with the lawyer to withdraw the access application, which is what's happening right now. I'm making this video today to protect myself, my marriage, and us as a family because Koketo has never been denied access. I am being threatened, sworn at, as well as crucified for a process I had nothing to do with. In closing, my husband is the one that gave me permission to post the kids on my social media platform as the kid's biological father, and I was never the cause of their divorce. I will be opening up my comment sections on all my social media platforms. However, I will not be responding to further questions as this is a legal matter between my husband and his ex-wife. In closing, we really would like to thank everyone who are looking at this differently. And because of this issue now it still sits uh, at the courts. Uh, give us time and opportunity uh, at all the possible measures which in return will allow Koketo to be able to see the kids uh, in a proper managed way.
Thank you. Thank you, hey guys, hey guys, I hope you guys are doing well today. Now you guys say, oh, Kamu Pachani and her husband finally responded. Finally, guys, yo, people have been waiting and wondering why these people are so quiet. Like, you being accused of kidnapping children, it's a lot, okay? You can just keep quiet for so many days, but they finally responded. But on their side, it's kind of like, professional way because i think i just want to protect herself and her brand because now she has like a physical salon and she's been threatened threatened rather so she's just going through a lot especially because she's the one who is more famous on social media so let's just ignore the um Let's just ignore the, the, the professional side of the way they responded. But you guys, they did mention that they never denied the mother access to her kids. And I won't repeat what they said because you guys already had um, what they said. And I'm sure you have your questions. But she said that she won't be responding to more questions as this is a legal matter. They can't be addressing stuff and responding because this thing now is in court right and i don't know man a part of me believes ukamu and her husband and i know i might be get bashed for that but a part of me just believes ukamu but then again i'm just gonna say i believe them maybe like 80 percent because i'm gonna say this because i don't know them i'm personally but then again with the videos i made about gamu pachani and this um the the ex-wife name People have been commenting, man, and they've been saying, um, no, they don't blame Ukamo. Yes, the way she, the ex-wife said it, obviously they will stand with her. But I saw a comment from someone who says that actually the kids were like um, suffering. They used to go like two weeks without electricity. And we had that this, um, the, the, the ex-wife is actually a professional nurse. She is employed. She, it's not like she doesn't have money. So if someone can say that the kids were suffering before and the mother is working, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like confusing for me, guys. I don't want to lie. It's really, really, really confusing. And the two sides of the story... All of them, they are different, like different. The version of the ex-wife is very different from what Ukamu and her husband are saying. And man, for me, it makes the, the version of Ukamu and her husband actually makes sense. She says that they were with the kids got locked down and the kids used to visit, you know, um weekends and holidays then they would go home um during the week obviously for school then the wife all of a sudden just decided you know what i have um bigger opportunities so you can keep the kids and when she said that i think the husband and gamu saw it fit for them to approach or to go the legal route to tell them what it, to tell their lawyers or magistrate what no um the ex the ex wife wants them to be to have full custody of the kids, and as they say, they have proof of what they're talking about. I don't think this lady will win, and I'm not saying she won't have access to her kids. Yes, she will, but then again, if it if they can prove that she lied, people are gonna be so angry like people will be so angry because now people are donating money to her if you want to um donate i will try to find the account number no i won't i remember one day i tried putting um account numbers are sent twins was it sent twins they were asking for donations people are like, this is a, a scam or what what so i won't but you can just search her on tiktok to find um, the account number you can s donate the money to she wants to pay legal fees because now this is a legal matter you know i don't know how do you guys feel about this whole thing and i'm not saying i don't believe the ex-wife but with the things that she mentioned in the first video she made um she was focusing on kamu first of all second of all she was saying okamu oh, um works as a at a salon um she, she's buying this and that on social media what what so she's been stalking 
ukamu on social media and i understand that sometimes women can be jealous guys at the end of the day this was her husband four children guys that is not chickens we are talking about human beings here so sometimes maybe she got jealous a bit and that is why now she feels like you know what let me just get my kids back or someone was like hey when i do know that gamu is making a lot of money using your kids and maybe she just changed her mind here and there i don't know you guys i don't know i forgot to mention that the person who commented in one of the videos said that and the kids but the, um, they were not staying with their mother it's, it looks like it looked like they were staying with an aunt or something so i don't know man but yeah, I don't know, guys, this is so, so confusing, but uh, hopefully we will finally get to know the real truth. OK, anyway, guys, I will definitely see you on the next one.